Today we're going to talk about mature skincare over 50 and how to get rid of dry skin. Hi, I'm Shelley and welcome to Fabulous 50s. Today I'm going to talk about how to get rid of dry skin. And if you're a woman over 50, it's more than likely that you've had some kind of dry skin issue because what happens when we go through menopause is our skin becomes drier, it can become itchy and irritated, and there's a couple of reasons for that. But one of them that we would all have in common is that our estrogen levels decrease. And unfortunately, one of estrogen's big jobs is to stimulate our collagen and our oils within our body. And as our estrogen decreases, as we go through menopause, all of that decreases as well. So we have to put things into our body and onto our skin to help with the process because the slowdown of estrogen reduces our body's ability to retain our moisture. So if you're in your menopausal years and you've got dry skin, I'm going to give you some tips that I use, they work and it really helps making everything smooth and soft again. The first part of this video, I'm going to share with you things that I put inside my body that moisturize from the inside and then I'm going to share with you products that I put on my face and my body that actually work. I've always struggled with dry skin because naturally I'm red hair with freckles so that kind of coloring and skin type is prone to being very dry and I think now that I know what to do even though I am going through menopause my skin is better now than it was when I was younger not as supple but it's not dry like it always was and that goes for my hair as well so here's the thing as we get older our skin gets older and that's a natural process, but this is really important. If you consume a diet low in fat, you can expect your skin and your body to age more rapidly. And this happened to me when I was doing a low fat, no fat diet back in the 90s, when it was the thing to cut out all fat. So I did that, but what happened was my skin got really dry my hair got dry. It was the time when I was having children and my hair started to thin. And I noticed a lot of my friends who were doing the same thing, you know, we're exercising and we were reducing our calorie intake, but we cut out all fats. And that affects our face so much. That's the first sign that someone's not having enough oil inside their body, is you can see dry, wrinkly face. And when I started learning about good fats and good oils, I was able to turn that around very quickly. And I've been doing that ever since. And I think a lot of ladies who are having very dry skin and a big problem with it during menopause will be able to sort it out if you start introducing oils into your diet. And I'm going to share with you the things that I do. And then the next phase of this is some skincare that really, really works. So we've got to get the right kinds of oils and they're called essential fatty acids. And the reason they're called essential is that because our bodies can't make them and we need to get them through food. A really good source is coconut oil. Extra virgin coconut oil is great. And olive oil is amazing as well. And the Greeks who consume a lot of olive oil because that's their culture and they know, they know the benefits of having olive oil. But it has been said that the only reason Greek people eat food is to combine it with their olive oil so they can get enough oil into their bodies. So this is really great. And another thing I learned about when I did a controlled fast was to use Udo's oil, which is the perfect combination of omega-3, 6, and 9. So this is quite expensive, but it makes such a difference. If you start consuming this twice a day, you will notice a difference in the moisture content in your skin very, very quickly. But you can use the oils that you have. And olive oil, for example, when you buy this, it's got to be first cold pressed. That's the best one to get. Um, in a dark bottle, not in a light bottle, because the light can get into it and oxidize it. So just make sure you get good quality oils and get them into your body. Another way that you can get oils and fats into your body is with seeds and nuts. 
so good quality seeds and nuts and lots of avocados and oily fish things like that are going to moisturize your body from the inside so when you're addressing your dry skin with just skincare alone you're already three quarters of the way there and this is so true when you start doing this and then stop because you might need to go traveling or something like that you'll notice a difference within the first couple of days so believe me this absolutely works the estrogen has decreased in our body so it's all we have to do is start replenishing our body with the things that aren't there anymore also drink lots of water because water will keep us hydrated and everything helps so good fats good oils lots of water get started that's your first step the second phase we go into is good quality skincare and I'm going to share with you some things that just completely stopped my dry skin I was using all kinds of cleansers but I never used an oil cleanser because I thought that would just not remove all my makeup and when I did my skincare video with Will Fennell he's a skincare expert and he said to me when you are particularly at our age group over 50 women should be using an oil cleanser because it's less drying and less irritating it still gets all the makeup off but if you want to reduce the drying you start with the cleanser and I've got to say it made a big difference so when I was using a non-oil cleanser I cleaned my face and it was squeaky clean it felt good but like one minute later my skin was dry so I use the one that he recommended by Droga cleansing oil it is so beautiful and so luxurious and I love it so you could give this a try the other one that I use when I'm traveling it's called simple hydrating cleansing oil it's like eight dollars and it works beautifully the next thing I do after cleansing morning and night is use a hyaluronic acid and the reason hyaluronic acid is so amazing for women over 50 is that it's a moisture binding ingredient so when you put it on your face it's pulling the moisture and keeping your skin really plump I use the Neod multi-molecular hyaluronic complex this is beautiful and I use it morning and night and you can tell the difference straight away when you put it on so if you've got dry skin try a hyaluronic acid and I try to find hyaluronic acid in all of my products when I first started researching hyaluronic acid I went on to Amazon and I ended up buying the Joyal it's Royal with a J uh, the their hyaluronic acid and I bought that and I bought some for my friends as well and we all tried it and all of us thought that it made a big difference and we reordered it then I started doing a little bit more research and this one came up as well so the one I bought on Amazon is only $17.99 it's inexpensive and it's a perfect place to start and also the ordinary has a great hyaluronic acid and that also is a perfect place to start if you fall in love with using hyaluronic acid maybe give this one a try those same girlfriends we all buy this now so you have lots of options and you put it on straight after cleansing another ingredient that Will Fennell told me about I'll leave his video up here it's a super helpful video to explain the ingredients of skincare and how it affects women over 50 but he said one of the great ingredients that we can use at our age is squalene so I found the ordinary sells this product but it's yet yeah, the ordinary squalene this is a really great ingredient so you can if you've got really super dry skin and particularly for mature skin all you do is add a little bit of the oil a couple of drops and you can add this into your moisturizers it's just a beautiful oil and it's inexpensive because it's from the ordinary and when you're feeling particularly dry add a couple of drops of squalene to you can pat it under your eyes or you can add it to your moisturizer and you can rub it anywhere you like it's great and it really helps when you're super super dry after I use my hyaluronic acid is the Charlotte Tilbury magic cream so this cream also is full of hyaluronic acid and different ingredients to make your dry skin 
feel beautiful this one is amazing i got the sample size so if you can get a sample and ask for one to try i think they send these out for free because i got mine for free when i ordered something else and i loved the consistency so much because it's rich and hydrating but it doesn't leave a film and when this ran out I was really upset I had to go and buy the big tub the best thing I love about this one is you can use it as a moisturizer but it's not so rich that when you put your foundation on the top everything runs it's so beautiful this is very similar to the La Mer and the La Mer cream is so luxurious and so beautiful I've had a sample size the same size as this of the Le Mer and it's you don't want it to run out because it's so beautiful but it's super expensive and probably hard to justify the price but this I think does the same thing it feels as luxurious and it's got the same kind of consistency another great one for dry skin is the Epionce medical barrier cream this is another product that I've found that I would always keep buying because I use this at night over the top of my retin-a and if I'm feeling really dry or my skin's really itchy I can use this and it kind of calms everything down but this is one of those ones that is really very moisturizing and then we get to our body and dry skin in our body looks flaky and if you want to wear bare skin you need to maintain that so the oils will help and the foods that you eat will help keep your skin in better condition but the best thing that I've found to help with my dry skin on my body is to dry brush it and I've been doing this for many years and what it does is it takes off all the dead skin cells and it stimulates all of your skin brings the blood to your skin and it helps with lymphatic drainage so you buy a brush like this there's a couple of brushes on the market that have got like a handle that slips into the top don't buy those because the handle always falls off and it's so annoying but you need a long handle so you can reach your back and what you do with a dry brush is you start at your feet and move upwards always going towards the heart so you brush up and when you get to your arms you just brush like this and you're stimulating and regenerating the skin cells and getting rid of all of that dead skin on top and you do your whole body I don't do this area because I think it's too sensitive I'll do my shoulders and then finish there and then I'll exfoliate this area these bristles are firm so you can feel it when you're doing it but after you've done it for a few times it's it's not an issue so you do body brushing then have a shower and if you've got dry skin this is really important too don't make your showers very hot if you can handle a lukewarm shower that's the perfect thing the other thing about brushing is that you buy a brush once and you wash it once a week and you don't have to spend money on exfoliators for your body so it's money saving and it's all natural and it does an amazing job when you get out of the shower moisturize 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 and moisturizer for the body I just use a natural moisturizer this is a pure Fiji it's natural but this is super hydrating and I add the squalane to this as well so it just gives me that extra boost of moisture if you want a DIY recipe for a really great moisturizing treatment that you can make yourself this is a glycerin recipe that I have and I spray it onto my body just like that and it's so moisturizing and it's so cheap to make so you add glycerin and water and rose water and I have a video I'll leave a link up here with the recipe for this this is great it doesn't cost hardly anything to make and when you're feeling really dry particularly in winter just keep spraying yourself and and it gives a nice glow as well so I think at our age you know for mature women skincare is kind of important there's so many things we have to deal with now that we're getting older because everything's changing all the rules have changed now that we're older but if we know why things are changing and what we can do to make it better 
our life is just a little bit more simple. I really hope this can help you get rid of your dry skin. Please give a thumbs up if this video was useful to you and share it with your girlfriends. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful week.